Okay, so today I'm making uh, borscht. This is Estonian style, the way my mum made it, my Myama. Now there I've got my uh, beetroot. I cut it into battens. Now everybody's to decide how they would prefer to cut things, but that's the traditional way my mum did it. In there I've got tomato and potatoes. Now potatoes I do cut into cubes because they don't like to be in battens. And uh, carrots, onions, cabbage, a little bit of bay leaf, a couple of uh, stock cubes, chicken stock cubes. That intensifies the flavour. And I've got some good quality beef there as well, which I'm going to brown off. I like my beef browned off before I put it in a soup because otherwise it looks rather insipid. And some sour cream to finish it all off. Okay, so I'll show you as we go along. So there's the beef starting to brown off. I put the onions in there to caramelise a bit as well. Uh, you got a bit of sugar in them and uh, that takes a little bit of browning as well. So I'm doing it in the fry pan. Normally you would do it in the bottom of your soup ladle, a soup uh, pot, but uh, my soup pot hasn't got a decent enough bottom in it. Okay, so I've just topped it up with water. As it comes to boil, I just turn it down to a simmer. Now, it's not going to take a long time because all these vegetables are cut fairly thin. I just want the tomatoes to pretty well uh, disappear and everything else to get soft and it'll be ready. So probably about 35, 40, 45 minutes uh, on the simmer. Okay, so there it is. Been topped up with water and it's bubbling nicely on the boil. Now, uh, everything in there is going to turn nice and uh, purple, the colour of the beetroot. So uh, when that's happened, you'll know the soup is pretty well ready. Uh, I'm going to turn it down to a simmer and put the lid on 35, maybe 45 minutes. Looking forward to it. Whoa, very steamy in there. That looks like it's pretty well ready now. I must try it. Oof, too steamy. Oh wow, oh wow, that soup, the beetroot leaves a sweet flavour behind. The beetroot, back in the old days of the Tsar and the uh, German landlords in Estonia, it's actually used to make sugar. And all the other vegetables now have added their flavour as well. Salt and pepper, of course. When I put this in a bowl with sour cream, the, that little bit of sour cream will add a creaminess to the soup and also a little sour flavour as well. Oh, the last bit I'm looking forward to. Well, there it is, all finished. With sour cream on top, I don't have any dill leaves to put on top, so I've just used uh, shallot uh, tops, a little bit of uh, rye bread on the side, and uh, Bob's your aunt's uncle. This is a kind of flavour that you really uh, lust after once you get used to it.